So I'm here. I'm the smallest. I've got the least amount of abs and I'm the oldest. So whenever everyone was like, the girls are like, the snacks are up. I was like, right, boys, you can work out on the beach. I'm going to the <laughs> How are you? Hi, okay. Hi, nice to meet you. Doing good, doing good. I saw the first few episodes of the show and I'm so excited for everybody else to see it. It is uh, so much fun. Um, I mean, what was your reaction when you found out that this was too hot to handle and not Paradise Island? <laughs> well, everyone knows my reaction. I was so confused, honestly. <laughs> I, I sat there thinking, where am I? Who's Lana? Um, why is she talking to me? Like... <laughs> I've never seen the show and I didn't know anything about it whatsoever. Yeah. So for me, it was a massive shock. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I'd seen the show before. So as soon as I saw that little cone pop out, I wasn't <laughs> the most thrilled. Um, but I got a lot of humor watching Harry try and figure out what Lana <laughs> was. So all, all of my tensions of what was about to happen was satisfied by just a pure... <laughs> mental breakdown Mary was trying to do in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, besides not being intimate, what was probably the most challenging thing about being stranded on this island with all of these beautiful people? Seven. Um, I have two things that was very difficult. First off, I'm a very social butterfly. Mm -hmm. I love to talk to everybody. So when you get surrounded by, you know, nine people and that's all you get, it's, it's hard to like, remember that an outside world actually exists. Mm -hmm. So you, you start to fall into this idea that that is the world right there in front of you and nothing else is going on. And you, you act, you, I want to say you act differently, but really you act more like your true self because you don't think mm -hmm. anybody's watching and you're just doing you, regardless of the fact that there's cameras there. You just, just. Mm -hmm. But um, beyond that, it was trying to stay fit when they have a five-star chef cooking like <laughs> massive meals every day. Second that. That was really difficult. I had to start wearing shirts by the end of the season. <laughs> I lived in that kitchen. Do you know what, right? Because I kept saying I've got the worst figure, right? I've got on this island, right? And all these, they were built like great gods, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm here. I'm the smallest. I've got the least amount of abs. And I'm the oldest. So whenever everyone was like, the girls were like, the snacks are up. I was like, right, boys, you can work out on the beach. I'm going to the kitchen. <laughs> I might save you a few snacks, but I probably won't. <laughs> I love it. I mean, when going into this, um, were you ever imagining that you could leave in a relationship or were you kind of just looking to go there for fun, Harry? A hundred percent go there for fun. Obviously, mm -hmm. we got sold this dream, like you would be going around on a yacht. Obviously, there'd be loads of pretty girls and pretty guys, which there was, but then typically we can't do anything with them because of Lana. So I think it was... It was so difficult to adjust to what you imagined you'd be doing. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you can't. But for me, I found it more like of a challenge. That's like, I just put my mindset as in like, you can do this. It's something you're not used to. Like you're completely flipping the switch. So why don't you just try and work on you and work on your behavior and mm -hmm. how you're going to grow as a person. And that's what that's how I looked at it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, same idea. I think... When you get on the island and you've got, you know, all these beautiful women around you and whatnot, and then Lana comes out, it's very difficult to process the whole situation. Mm -hmm. So me personally, I definitely took a different aspect of how I handled myself. Um, in my head, you know, <clears throat> usual me, just continue to hook up, do your thing with whoever, who cares. But I was trying also not to upset the rest of the people on the island and, and, and make sure everybody is happy and, and we became a little family together. So you really cared about what each other thought. So I definitely tried taking a different approach to it and um, maybe handling things that I usually wouldn't handle it that way out in the outside world, mm -hmm. um, trying to be more oriented towards finding a relationship. But I know at, at the end of the day, we're all from all over the world. Like be, getting into a relationship on that show is not a simple process. Right. Getting into it, sure, but coming out of it, not the same sort of thing that you can do. So went into it wanting a relationship but who knows how it ended you know like right. yeah yeah i mean you make a good point that like there's these people from all over the world so ha having a relationship there is probably easy bringing it home is definitely not i mean harry was that something that you and Bo kind of discussed um during the, throughout this season because obviously this relationship kind of started as like a slow burn a little bit and now um i mean from where i ended off you guys were definitely one of the strongest couples so i mean was that a conversation that you guys had to have not really. I think it all flowed quite naturally. And like, obviously, 
I think the biggest struggle for me on that show was like I was coming out of my shell, but I wasn't letting my guard down whatsoever. And that's what I've always done. So I think like obviously chatting to the boys and doing the workshops, like they made me think like, listen, you can't be stuck in your ways forever. Like I hadn't been in a relationship for three years. So I just thought, tell you what, like don't like, cause I usually go for like the same type of girl, like looks wise. And I thought like, stop being shallow, get to know somebody on a deeper level. And we just went from strength to strength. So I thought, why not like invest my time in this girl? So that's what I did, that's what I chose to do. Yeah. Seven, were you disappointed in how things didn't work out with Georgia at first? And and then maybe eventually Olga? I mean, I don't know how exactly how it, it plays out, but. Um, I mean, ultimately, yeah, there were some disappointments on levels. Um, Georgia, Georgia was very much, you know, the, the take home the mom, gorgeous all around, very sweet, very loving. You know, I can't say too much about it, but like me and Harry both kind of understand some processes in that. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, I was happy to wherever I ended up. I wasn't trying to pressure anything one way or another. I was just truly trying to see where pe other people's heads were at and, and build my uh, situations and my personal replies based on that. So <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, Maybe me and George have been talking the whole time since the show came out. You don't know. Nobody no. knows. Right? Oh, teaser, <laughs> teaser. Have you guys, I, I mean, it seems like everybody really got along on this season. And obviously, you know, there, of course there's drama and things like that. But it seems like for the most part, everybody got along and kind of respected everybody. Has, has Have those friendships maintained after the show? As far as I'm concerned, yeah. I think everyone's yeah. talking, talking in the WhatsApp group and... I think everyone's good. Obviously, today has been a big day, so we've all been supportive of each other. And I think that's probably what made our season and made us so close, that the fact that we all respect each other, like Stevan said. And yeah, we encourage relationships rather than going behind each other's backs. So that was quite a refreshing thing, especially for me, it was getting like quite deep into something and I haven't for so long. It was great to have the guys like helping me out and... Yeah, we all stay in touch all the time, really. We're always ringing each other and checking in, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think our, our villa itself, compared to other seasons, was really the strongest family-oriented altogether. I feel like we all really worked well together and, and cared about each other and how we felt. Um, there were situations that would come up where maybe we did argue or we went at it a little bit, but we always found a way back together and figured it out. And since the show ended, it's difficult to talk to people all around the world. We're on different time zones. We're on different everything. Some people are working, some aren't. It's really hard to fully speak to everybody, but I feel like we've done pretty well at, at keeping up. And like Harry said, since forth moving into this, all the interviews and everything going on, we've really had each other's backs. A lot of people have had, you know, some questions or concerns about what might come out on the show because you you fall into this idea that there's nothing else going on but the show when you're filming. So a lot of people have been there for each other and taken care of each other. And I think that's what is probably my favorite part about our cast. Yeah. What makes you the most nervous about what's about to air? Oh, we're crybabies, me and Harry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> I've got a few things. So I've got my shorts because they're literally like, size eight to 12 boys. They're literally like this. I've got my tears, my Tommy tank. <laughs> uh, my hair at some point. So yeah, but I'm just living with it. Do you know what I mean? It is what it is. It's done. It's, it's all laughing. It? That's what it's all about. Yeah. No, I, at the end of the day, you know, I did some crazy hairstyles. I, 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 I ran up a few weird scenarios or whatever, but at the end of the day, I am me. Um, so as much as, yes, yeah, some things might be embarrassing to a degree. Mm -hmm. If you really want to flake on me or make me feel a type of way about it, then it's just going to help me decide that I don't need you in my life. And I, I have the people that were able to see me that open and vulnerable and they respected me and loved me for it. And so at the end of the day, I don't think I'm really concerned about anything at this point. I'm just happy that we, at least on the show, know who each other are and have that love for each other. And that's not going to change. 